What's up everybody, Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install one of these Putco lower grills on your Ford Ranger. Step one is going to be to grab a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket on it, and there's five black screws along the bottom of the valance here that we need to remove. Moving into the mouth of the valance here, you're gonna have five more plastic clips along the top that you're gonna to need to pop out. Usually using a pry tool or a body tool is gonna to be the best option here. And then if you do have a front license plate bracket, you're gonna have two more 10 millimeter bolts in these little holes. Obviously our truck does not have that, so I don't have to worry about them. But we're gonna pop these clips out of here and that should allow us to remove the whole valance. To be able to remove the whole valance from the lower bumper, you're going to need to use a body tool to pry back on these corners where there's some black plastic kind of in the upper left and right hand sides. Once you have those clips popped out, then you're going to want to grab kind of where your tow hooks are on the silver portion and just yank the grill back out towards you. Now it will take a little bit of force and you want to be careful not to break anything, but it's in here kind of tight so we'll wiggle it and see if we can get it free. So you can see now, got the valance flipped around and there's a wiring harness running to these front parking sensors. So we're just gonna unclip them at the sensor where that little plastic connector is. With the valance laid out on the ground here, you can see pretty quickly how this grill is gonna fit into place. If I just set it on there. So what you'll need to do is clean this black plastic along the bottom because the grill has some 3M adhesive on these tabs that needs to stick to it. And you're gonna center the grill based on the posts on the top. Those are slotted and then the holes are meant to line up with the holes that are already there for that front license plate bracket. So pull this off here. I'm gonna clean it up, get everything mounted, and then we can work on getting it back onto the truck. From here, we're just gonna work back on the same steps that we did to remove the valance. So I'm gonna reconnect our parking sensors, lift this thing into place, push those clips in, and then we'll work on getting some screws through for the top. If your Ranger already came with a front mount license plate bracket, then you'll have the two screws you need to attach these tabs. But in our case, with a truck that does not have it, you're gonna need to get some screws for that. And I have some stainless ones that were sitting around at the shop here that do fit, but for reference, if you need these screws, they're gonna be the exact same size as the ones you used on the bottom of the valance. So that should give you something to go off of. So now we can pop our factory plastic clips back into place.
just about done. All we have to do is put these five screws back into place on the bottom of the valance. Well, there you have it. It's just that simple to pop in one of these Putco grills. Obviously it just takes a couple hand tools and you can do it in your driveway, no problem. And I think Putco did a good job with the look of this thing. The honeycomb pattern across it matches up really nicely with the pattern that's already in the corners of the factory valance. So it kind of feels like a factory part once you have it in there. Now, if you guys are interested in picking up one of these grills for your Ranger, we'll have some links down in the description that'll shoot you over to our website. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.